and our coalition of civil society organizations known as the Oshun Masterminds has decried the decision of the federal government to disburse funds as palliative to about 100,000 households in each state of the federation. The group during its June state of the state address noted that any attempt at distributing money to citizens under any guise will be fraudulent to reading until acceptable database for all Nigerian is achieved and data of the most vulnerable updated and published by local government. Speaking on agricultural palliative, the group identified reliable data of genuine farmers and legislative policies and farmlands incursion as the best ways to mitigate food scarcity. The division on fertilizers to 30 local government areas, an area of which must not be politicized. Public servants who are saddled with the responsibility of administering the palliative scheme must indeed share to the target segment of the populace instead of favoring their cronies and enriching the state political actors. The fertilizer palliative, which is designed to mitigate the hardship petroleum subsidy removal method on Nigerians is to provide secure to the town children. Therefore, it should relieve the poor and not further aggravate the socioeconomic conditions of the people. It is expected that the fertilizer will boost agricultural production in the state and benefit the agrarian communities in the state at large. This time around, if they are mounting, I use the word mounting because there's a difference between saying things and showing signs of seriousness. If at all they have good intention about revitalization of the agricultural sector in this state, it should start with equable distribution of the fertilizers. And of course, you don't put fertilizers on rocks. So if there are no lands apportioned to farmers, if there are no lands that we can visibly see that have been cleared for agricultural purposes, of what effect would the fertilizers be? So it's not just about the fertilizers. Generally, in the agricultural sector, there is a need for a total revamp. I doubt if this state have up to four tractors, a whole state. I have not learned of a particular land in any government set aside for agricultural purposes. So I hope they will not rebrand the fertilizers and resell. Government must come and genuinely make a policy on grazing. And government can show seriousness and commitment by first getting data of those who are farmers. And they are not just people who want to say, I'm now a farmer. There are those who have been farming.